Nobody likes slow websites. We all know that, right? Besides that, PageSpeed can have a real impact on your user's engagement. Because nobody wants to wait for some website to load. So, do you still remember our 7 steps plan? We have been working on step 4 all this time, designing and developing our website. But now let's start with step 5 and make our users love our website even more by using some techniques for speeding upload times. And there are two very basic things we can do. Optimize heavy images and minify CSS and jQuery code. So let's go do that. So the first thing we have to optimize are images. And that's because images are usually by far the more heavy content of our web page. We'll just show you that. So I come here to my resources folder. And then we have here the meals. So you see 200 kilobytes, 200 for all of these images. And for instance, the cities, 200 kilobyte you see here, also 195. So all of these images together combined, when we download the website, this takes like a long time to download all of these images. So imagine someone with a slow internet connection on a smartphone or so would try to download this site. That would actually take them like forever, right? So let's reduce that file sizes. And as a first step, we can reduce the actual dimension of the images. And so far, we never really looked at the image dimensions uh, until now. We just included all our images and didn't really worry about anything. So let's do that now and I will use the Chrome developer tools and we will look at these four city images. So again you see how useful this is. Okay here we have it. So inspect this image and now here we have it. And when we hover that image we can see the actual size of the of the file which is 900 by 600 pixels and then the size that is displayed on the website, which is only 249 by 166 pixels. So the original image is way bigger than what we actually see on the screen. Now we have to think about one thing, which is responsive web design. Our images will actually get a little, little bigger. So let's for instance optimize this for this image size. You see these images are now larger than they were before. And let me actually hide this part a little bit. So inspect element again. And you see it's 361 by 240 pixels, which we see here on the screen. So let's make that uh, 375 for instance. So that's the, the size that we need. Now I want the image size to be always twice as much as the actual size. And there's a simple reason for that and it is high resolution displays. And those high resolution displays like the Retina displays we have on MacBooks and iPhones and also on the other smartphones need the image files to be larger than they appear on the screen in order to make them look super sharp. So in our case that would be uh, 375 times 2. So 375. So we want the image to be 750 pixels and not 900. So we can reduce the image dimensions which is a cool thing. So remember this number 750. Alright so we come to our folder and to the cities which are San Francisco, London, Lisbon and Berlin. Now if you're a Mac user there's a quite a handy way to reduce uh, the dimensions of the images all at the same time. So I will just open them. Then here I say Command A to select all of them. And then just come here and reduce it to 750. Okay. And on a Windows machine, you could use some other program to do the same thing. So we see here, we reduce from 1.1 megabyte to 400 
90 kilobyte and that's that's very good that's a huge file reduction and that's exactly what we wanted to do and let's save those images so you see this is a very great way of doing this of reducing some file size and now reload this and everything looks exactly the same right so this is a first step to increase the page speed of our website and you could now go ahead and do the same thing for this image here for instance or for these ones and yeah I think you should do that so this was the first step of reducing heavy images and now another thing we can do maybe even powerful is to use this tool called Optimizilla which basically compresses images online and we will use this tool to compress our two biggest images and it's these ones you see this is one two megabyte and this is two and a half megabytes so these are huge images so we will now compress these images and try to save a huge amount of precious space here so now we just upload these files and this takes a little bit of our time of course now the tool starts to actually compress this file and now we can see it down here while the other one keeps uploading and okay so here we have the quality we can change that if we want and here the original and the compressed side by side and you see with a quality of 88 percent which is a lot so these images look quite alike we can reduce 43 percent of the file size so this is very good right and in this case this image here uh, you know disappears behind that black layer so this is very dark so we almost can see the image and so I will even reduce the quality even more and this will hopefully helps saving even more space and all right so this will now be you know less than 400k and before it was one two megabytes so this is very good and now I'll just say apply and then I can download this image and now the same thing with this one and you see that with a quality of 90% so this image is almost as good as this one we reduce from 2.4 mega to 780 kilobyte so in this case this image is very important is our header image I don't want to reduce the quality more than this so I would just say okay that's all right for me and then hit download here as well and now I have both files in my download folder and I will just put them here together with the other images so one and two so you see these have a different file names so it's hero min and customers min now of course I need to go to our CSS file and change that image as well right so where is that first one okay here we are so hero and now it is actually hero min and yeah here it is and the other one hero min as well so we have these two lines here because of the prefix I showed you before so this is the WebKit version and this is the original version and of course I need to change the image in both and the same thing down here so here I say min and here the same thing all right so let's open our page and you see this looks exactly the same as it did before and we re reduced a whole amount of space 
and saved our users precious bandwidth so they need to download way less data. So you see it's really easy to optimize images and it makes a really huge difference. Now another thing that we can do is to minify CSS and jQuery code. And this basically reduces the size of the CSS and jQuery files by removing unneeded white space and by optimizing that code. But however, minifying code makes it quite difficult for humans to read. So we should only minify code when we're ready to launch a website. So in the case of CSS, we can use this tool here. And I will actually not do that right now. I will just grab some CSS code here. For instance, let me say, I don't know, this code here. Then we can paste it here. So I will not do this for all our code. I will just show you what I mean by minifying the code. So here we can say the highest compression of all and then process it. And here is the result. So as I said, this is quite difficult or even impossible to read. This is all our code completely compressed. So no comments, no white space, nothing. And we had a compression of 50% actually. So this is another thing we can do. And you can find the link to this tool and the JavaScript tool in the course ebook as always. And this technique is actually more important when we have large amounts of code to compress because otherwise we will not save so much space. And in our case, we don't have that much code. So it's maybe not necessary to do, to do this. All right, that's it for optimizing page speed. And now let's move on to some very basic search engine optimization in the next lecture.